In this video, we're going to take a look at an application of logarithms. Uh, and to be more specific, we're going to look at a logarithmic scale, one that we're familiar with, the Richter scale for measuring earthquakes. So in 1935, Charles Richter defined the magnitude of an earthquake to be the log of I sub C over I sub N equals R. I sub C is the intensity of the earthquake, which is measure, measured with a seismograph. And I sub n is the intensity of a standard earthquake, which is how much the, mo the Earth moves on any normal day. So if you see, the um, magnitude of a standard earthquake, uh, we would do log of I sub n over I sub n, which is log of 1, which equals 0. So it, on the Richter scale, would have a magnitude of 0. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can apply this. So here's an interesting problem here. Uh, so, in early in the century, we had an earthquake in San Francisco that registered, a, reg, registered excuse me, 8.3 on the Richter scale. In the same year, there's one in South America that was four times stronger. In other words, it, the amplitude was four times as large. So, what was the magnitude of the earthquake in South America? Well, first, let's recall our formula, and that's that the Richter scale is given by the log of the intensity of the earthquake, I sub C, over the intensity on a normal day, I sub N. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to set up one of these for each problem, for each city, excuse me. So San Francisco, so it measured 8.3 on the Richter scale, so that's our R, and that's equal to the log of the intensity, and let's call it I sub SF for San Francisco, over I sub N. Now we also have South America. We don't know what, it's, what it was on the Richter scale. That's actually what we're looking for. So let's just call that R. And that's equal to the log of I sub S A over I sub N. I'm going to show you a real neat trick for comparing um, Richter scale magnitudes that can be used in a lot of these problems. What we're actually going to do is we're going to subtract the two formulas because what we want to do is compare them. There's a nice property of logs that's going to actually make that work out real nice for us. So what that tells us is 8.3 minus R is equal to log of I sub SF over I sub N minus log of I sub SA over I sub N. Okay, so I just subtracted the left hand side here and the right hand side here. Now we're going to use property of logs. Remember what our goal is. Our goal is to solve for R. So I'm going to use a property of logs that's going to allow me to simplify this right hand side. Notice I have the difference of two logs that have the same base. That means I can write them in the same log with division. So we have log of, and this is going to look a little crowded here, I sub SF over I sub N over I sub SA over I sub N. Okay, so log of this over this. That's our, one of our property, main properties of log, very important one. Now this may look a little weird at first, but realize what we can do. We can we're dividing by a fraction, which means we can flip it and multiply. So inside this log, let's take a look at what we have going on. We have the intensity sub SF, so that's the intensity of the San Francisco over I sub N times, I'm going to flip this denominator, I sub N over I sub SA. And here's what's brilliant about this. Those are actually going to cancel. Now, I'm going to need to grab myself another sheet of paper here, because I have ran out of room. Let's see what happens when we take this a little bit further. Okay, so 
now I have, I'm going to bring this on to the next line here. Well, let's, let's bring the left hand side down as well so we don't lose it. 8.3 minus r. Okay, we had that earlier. So I'm bringing that down. Equals log, and we had that cancellation. So inside the log, I have the intensity of the San Francisco over the intensity of the South American earthquakes. Now here's what's really cool about this and something I want you to realize. What we're looking at is the difference in their magnitudes on the Richter scale is equal to the log of the ratio of their intensities. Right? And that's always going to be true. This is going to help you solve a lot of problems. Now, we don't have quite enough information on the paper to solve this, but remember what our original problem said. I'm going to bring it back here. Um, the earthquake in South America was four times stronger than the one in San Francisco. So we can make a relationship between their two intensities. In fact, the in intensity in San Francisco versus the intensity in South America, one of them is four times larger. So one of these is going to need to be multiplied by a four to make them equal. The question is, which one gets multiplied by the four? Well, remember, the one that gets multiplied by the four is the one that was smaller because we need them to be equal. So it's four times the San Francisco is equal to the South America. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a substitution. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be able to plug this in right here because I know I sub S A is four times I sub S F. This guy is going to go in right here. So 8.3 minus R equals the log of, let's move this up a little bit here, completely running out of space. We now have enough information to solve this guy though. The intensity of the San Francisco earthquake over four times the intensity of the San Francisco earthquake. Because those will cancel. And so we get that 8.3 minus R equals the log. Now remember, this cancels, but that means there's still something there. It's going to cancel and leave a 1. Log of 1 fourth. All right. So, what we're going to find out, let's solve this for R. So, n we can add R to both sides and subtract it out of both sides. We get 8.3 minus log of 1 fourth is equal to the magnitude of this earthquake on the Richter scale. And let's go ahead and see what that would actually come out to be. And my batteries are low. Ignore that. We have 8.3 minus, and this is just the log base 10, of 1 divided by 4. So we can put it in exactly like that. And there is the magnitude of this South American earthquake. It's got a magnitude of roughly, and now it's not, I'm going to round off, so I notice I'm using the approximate it's about 8.9 on the Richter scale. So, this is a really interesting way to uh, solve some of these problems. So I want to just show you another one real quickly. We're not going to spend a lot of time on it using what we just figured out. We're going to use this idea right here that the difference in the magnitude on the Richter scale is actually just the log of their ratios. So let's take a look at this problem here. If one earthquake's amplitude is 25 times larger than the other, how much larger is its magnitude on the Richter scale? Well, we know that the difference in their magnitudes, so I'm going to say just R2 minus R1, that's the difference in their magnitudes on the Richter scale. We know that that's equal to the log of the ratio of their intensities. So 25 times the intensity of the, the smaller one versus the bigger one. Again, these cancel, and R2 minus R1, that's the difference in, in their Richter scale magnitude, is equal to the log of 25, which is approximately, let's bring our calculator back in here, 1 point, let's take a look at that, 
1.3979. That's how far apart they would be on the Richter scale if one earthquake was 25 times stronger, or its amplitude was 25 times larger than the other.